Good morning, guys. Welcome back up to our property. We're in the truck right now, about to head into the big city. We just passed our drywall inspection. The inspector just left. Heck yeah, that feels awesome. And now we can start taping and mudding. We have most of the stuff to do it, but we don't have any corner bead and a few other things that we need. So we have to run into town, get back, because we're starting mud tomorrow. All right, welcome to... <laughs> what is that? These are insulation knives, babe. They look like you're about ready to cook me some hibachi. We got to do insulation on the bottom of the apartment. We're here getting insulation and we were trying to get faced 12 inch on center insulation and we can't because our joists are 12 inch on center. So we got to get R30 unfaced 24 on center. So we're going to use this to cut <laughs> like hopefully this works better than a YouTube a pocket knife because this is what we used last time and uh, it was not fun. This is the most important part because we have to find a white that's the right white. And there's so many whites. How do you pick the right white? We'll figure it out. This is pretty. Look at these colors. It's like Easter. Yeah. This is it? Yeah. This is it. This is the color palette I fell in love with. So after a little bit of debate, we ended up getting some flooring. Last minute. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Yesterday we got home at like what, like midnight, babe? What time? Like midnight, 11.30? Yeah. We were in town so long trying to just get everything we needed so we didn't have to make another trip back into St. George to get stuff that we need. Woke up at six, whatever, got to work, and we've been in here, drywall, mud and tape. I say, I, me. I've been in here and then our friends that are helping us that were here as well all day, they just left. But I thought I'd show you our progress. We've gotten like pretty much all the mud and tape on the bottom part. I'm just going through now and doing at the ceiling right here where the ceiling meets the wall. So I'm starting there and I'm going that way. It looks crazy when now that there's tape and mud, it looks like more of like a seamless thing instead of just like little pieces of drywall everywhere. So what do you think, babe? Looks good, starting to look good? Yeah, I think it looks amazing. She's up there. A big thank you to you know who you are. I'm gonna keep working for a while. So try to get as much of I, as I can done. I feel like a lot of today was spent doing the window seal beads, like corner beads cutting them and getting them to lay right and then mudding them. Like I did all of this mud and tape today by myself and the other guys were doing all that. So tomorrow should be a lot more progress. I feel like we got a lot done already. We're gonna get back to work. Looking good up there, babe. We are burning the midnight electricity. Okay. Burning our solar up, eh? <laughs> the sun is down. Sun is down. Got a couple LED lights keeping us at work right now. I don't even know what our kids are doing. I don't have a clue what they're doing. They're in the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> they're safe. 
The worst thing that could happen is they eat all the food. Oh, that's bad. Which is here. very possible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're just trying to get as much done as we can. Why we can? I guess just we want to. We're ready. We're ready. Huh, babe? Get in this thing. Yeah, I am. I just want to work as much as we can. Yeah. Back to the weekend. And I feel bad too. Like I feel like I should put in my hours because during the day I have to homeschool with kids. So like six to eight hours of my day is homeschool. So this is like my time to work with you and yeah. put in my hours on the house. I am. That's for sure. It's been I've almost 12 now I'm, I'm out here you're probably getting hungry yeah i am i'm gonna keep chugging along i'm trying to get this closet done all the taping then i might do a few more and then i'll probably call it a night because it's late and i'm hungry and i don't know what these kids are doing okay. all right roll me over here yes ma'am You better bake me so many cakes. Frosty crap. Woo! We are completely taped and mudded. And <laughs> she's finishing up the last little bit of uh, just screw heads up there. Tomorrow, we can sand a little bit and then we can start going a little wider on the mud. It's looking like something more and more every day. It's so dark in here. Yeah, it's like almost eight o'clock, I think. We've been working till, even last night we were working super late. We're about to go inside. Since you're done, I'm done and call it a night. We'll see you guys in the morning. Yeah, yeah, we'll show you in the morning. Kind of dark. Quite a bit done, but we ran out of drywall mud today. We've been through 12 boxes of drywall mud. We have 10 more coming today. The in-laws are coming today and they're bringing 10 more boxes. That should be able to finish us up. We're on our second coat, about halfway done. We still have to do the lid and a couple walls, but the bedrooms and the bathroom are done. I'm excited. I think we're gonna do three coats. So after we sand this one, we'll do one more and then give it a sand and then we should be able to texture with maybe a little touch up here and there. I'm going on, what, five or six days straight now, like sun up to sundown, and I am pooped. Kind of glad we ran out of drive on mud today. Do you want to tell the people what happened today when you tried to call the Home Depot? <laughs> I tried to call Home Depot because <laughs> one of our cabinets that we ordered for our kitchen, it got damaged, and so I'm trying to figure out what's going on with it, when is it, when is it gonna be here and everything. And apparently I called them, and I was sitting in the bathroom, Mudding, which, and which would be the the, the pooper toilet. room. Yeah, and I fell asleep on with my phone in my hand, and I was just sleeping. <laughs> yeah, that was interesting. I, that, that that doesn't tell you I'm tired. That I mean, I am barely tired. <laughs> Tomorrow we're gonna do another full day of mud and hopefully get to our third coat because this all should all dry. I got we have three fans in here running just to keep air circulating. That was kind of cold, but just the air circulating will help dry everything out. Some some places we're gonna do our third coat, and then some other places that we didn't get to finish today we're gonna be doing our second by. Sunday will be texturing, which today's Friday, right? Mm -hmm. I don't even know what day it is. Yeah, today is Friday. Fingers crossed, Sunday we're texturing. Sorry that we're not filming a bunch of stuff. I feel like we're just, just going like this on the walls all day long, so it's not like anything crazy. And nobody's doing anything crazy either. <laughs> I don't no, think anything just, crazy has happened. We're just BSing, trying to get it done. Singing songs and yeah. kumbaya. What do you think of your room, Bubba? I already knew it was gonna look like this. You already knew it was gonna look like this? Yes. Is this room big enough for you? Um, no. It's a pretty big, decent sized room, don't you think? Well, where are you just gonna live? Up top. What do you think, is that cool? Is there a better place too? Yeah. 
We're gonna put a big old ledge up there, and then a thing over here, and we're gonna build some stairs. Or maybe just a ladder, maybe just a ladder. I don't know, so we'll figure it out. Room. So you can put all your toys down here. Cause you've had no room in the trailer for like almost two years now. So don't you need a ton of room to play with your toys? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Tons, tons of toy room, right? High five? Yeah.